welcome you all i am leema from st joseph college of arts and science kadalur now i am going to talk about digestive system of human what is digestion the food particles are taken into the alimentary canal undergo a complicated process which converts the complex and insoluble food materials into simple and soluble food materials this process is called digestion digestion involve two process namely physical or mechanical process and chemical process during digestion carbohydrate is converted into glucose proteins are converted into amino acids lipids are converted into fatty acid and glycerol digestive system of man the digestive system include alimentary canal and digestive gland the alimentary canal include mouth tongue pharynx esophagus stomach small intestine large intestine rectum and anus the mouth is surrounded by lips the mouth cavity contains teeth and tongue tongue is a muscular organ it is attached at the posterior end and front free in front it contains two important structures on the surface they are papillae and taste bud the tongue is essential for mastication deglution taste speech and secretion of mucus then the pharynx the pharynx is commonly called throat its main functions are transmission of air from nose to larynx production of voice and transportation of food from mouth to esophagus then esophagus the pharynx is followed by esophagus it passes the food from pharynx to the stomach this is the diagram of alimentary canal it started from mouth and end with anus this is the buccal buccal cavity then it followed by esophagus then esophagus followed by stomach then stomach followed by small intestine then small intestine open into the large intestine then large intestine ends with anus the esophagus open into the stomach this is the esophagus open into the stomach the junction of the esophagus and stomach is called cardiac orifice it's guarded by the cardiac sphincter the stomach is j shaped the inner surface of the curvature is called lesser curvature outer side uh, greater curvature the posterior end of the stomach opens into the small intestine by pyloric orifice it's guarded by a pyloric sphincter this region then stomach is followed by small intestine uh, small intestine has three region Uh, that is duodenum jejunum and ileum it's a very long uh, is about 25 feet or 7.6 meters the small intestine followed by large intestine or colon a sphincter is present at the junction it is called ileocecal valve or ileocecal sphincter this is uh, it has no villi numerous mucus secreting goblet cells are present Uh, the large intestine uh, divided into three limb uh, ascending limb transverse colon descending limb uh, that is descending colon and uh, this is a sigmoidal colon uh, actually the descending colon is followed by rectum the rectum function as a reserve for the fecus the rectum is followed by anal canal it opens into the outside to anus next digestive gland and the gland associated with digestive system are called digestive gland man contains five type of digestive glands there are salivary gland liver pancreas gastric gland and intestinal gland digestion involve two process namely mechanical process and chemical process. mechanical process uh, the food taken in the mouth passes through the alimentary canal as it passes down it is treated mechanically and chemically mechanical process of digestion refers to the, all the physical treatments given to the food when it is inside the alimentary tract 
This process split the large particles into smaller particles. The mechanical process of digestion is brought about by the movements of alimentary canal. It includes mastication that is achieving, declusion that is allowing, and gastric motility, then small intestine motility, and large intestine motility, and finally defecation. So first of all, mastication. Mastication is achieving is the rhythmic movements of the jaws, tongue, and limbs. Sorry, lips. Uh, it serves us to break down the food particles into smaller masses. The next is deglution that is swallowing. After mastication, the food is swallowed into the stomach. This process is called deglution. It divided into three stages. That is oral phase, pharyngeal phase and uh, esophageal phase. Then gastric motility. This is the movement of stomach. Uh, it is two types. Um, hunger consumption and uh, digestive peristalsis. Then motility of small intestine. This is the intestinal movement. Mm, it's actually characterized by alternate contractions and relaxations. The intestinal motility is of two types. There are segmenting contractions and intestinal peristalsis. Then motility of large intestine, there are two types. Uh, motility in the colon. Uh, that is the movements concerned with mixing and absorption and the movements concerned with the propulsions. Next, defecation. Defecation is the expulsion of fecus. The mass movements derive the fac fecal ma masses into the colon. Generally, the rectum remains empty. The fecal matter stored in the sigmoidal and pelvic colon and not in the rectum. When the mass movement drive the fecus into the rectum, the desire for defecation occurs. Next, chemical process of digestion. It refers to the treatment of materials with the enzymes. Based on this, it grouped into three types. Buccal digestion or salivary digestion. Second one, gastric digestion. And third, intestinal digestion. Buccal digestion. Uh, digestion of the food occurring inside the buccal cavity is called buccal digestion. Uh, salivary enzymes play the major role. Uh, it, it is also called salivary digestion. The major enzyme in salivary gland is salivary amylase. Next, gastric digestion. Uh, digestion in the stomach is called gastric digestion. After swallowing, the food reaches the stomach. Here, the food is treated mechanically by gastric movements as well as chemically. That is chemicals, uh, gastric juice, HCL. And these are uh, sec secreted by the gastric gland. Yeah, then intestinal digestion. So as far as digestion is concerned, small intestine, especially duodenum, is significant because it receives pancreatic juice from pancreas, bile from liver, and intestinal juice from intestinal gland. Because of this uh, major event of digestion occur in the small intestine. Next, digestive process at various regions of digestive system. Uh, liver. Liver is a digestive gland. It is, a, it is the largest gland in the human body. It secretes bile. Uh, liver contains two lobes. It is formed of hepatic cells. Numerous capillaries are present between these cells. Capillaries are all called bile capillaries. Each capillary uh, starts as a blind tubule. They join together repeatedly to form bigger vessels. In each lobe, they join together to form hepatic duct. The two hepatic ducts of the two lobes unite together to form the common bile duct. It opens into the duodenum along with pancreatic duct through the ample of water. The upper end of the bile duct gives out a branch called cystic duct. It ends in a oval sac called gallbladder. It's a reserve for the bile secretory by the liver. This is the diagram of liver. This is the gallbladder. Uh, it's a common bile duct. Uh, here the, this is a hepatic duct. Uh, bile produced from the liver then stored in the gallbladder. Then stomach. Uh, 
digestion in the stomach is called gastric digestion. So, so gastric glands uh, produce gastric juice and HCL. Uh, there are um, four types of cells present in the gastric gland, uh, mucus, uh, neck cells, the, that, these cells secreting mucus. And second one, stiff or uh, cymogen cells or peptic cells, uh, secreting pepsin, renin and gelatinous. Then axentic or parietal cells secreting hydrochloric acid. Agent affin cells secreting serotonin. Next, intestinal digestion. It includes uh, three uh, common, uh, actually pancreatic juice enter into the intestinal uh, intestine and also bile um, and also intestinal juice. These three involved in the intestinal digestion, pancreatic juice, bile and intestinal juice. Because this uh, major event digestion occur in the small intestine. Uh, pancreas, pancreas is the combination of exocrine and endocrine gland. Um, the exocrine component of pancreas is a tubular gland. It is highly branched and terminal portions of the glands are known as ASNA or alveoli. The alveoli are the secretory units. The main duct of pancreas is called duct of Vaisang. It receives several ducts from the lobules. It opens into the duodenum along the bile duct. This is the pancreas. Actually, this is the gallbladder. It enters in the small intestine. Gallbladder uh, released bile. And this is the pancreas. Pancreas release pancreatic secretion. And this part, amble of water. This is the small intestine. Then gallbladder. Gallbladder is a digestive gland. Uh, it's uh, located on the upper surface of the liver. It's 8 to 10 cm in length and it has a volume of 60 ml. It's a bear shaped. It consists of three regions, fundus, uh, body and neck. Uh, it functions as stored house of bile. It concentrates the bile by absorbing water from the bile. This is the gallbladder diagram. This is the gallbladder. Uh, this is the neck region. This is the body. It's a fundus. This is a cystic duct. This is a hepatic duct. Here, bile produced. Then, it reaches the gallbladder. When the food reaches uh, reach the intestine, the gallbladder leads the bile uh, into the small intestine. 